of the street Whoa, turn up, turn up the radio Step out the gas and off the road Street fight tonight, oh, just get slow Nothing can turn the music down Nothing can turn this car around We'll always get around you and Put on your specs, Joe Rockstar. Morning, honey. Morning. Homework? Extra credit. What is it? A calculation of the gross net growth of 20 Fortune 500 companies into the 21st century. Well, that's all very well and good, but don't forget your spelling. Some things in life more important than making money. I'm going to forget you said that. But only because you're my father, and you give me my allowance. Good morning, darling. Shirts? You got it. How's the game going? I think I got them now. Uh, you said that four months ago. No, it's finally over. You said that two months ago. There's no way you can get out of this. Last week. I mean, whose turn is it to make supper tonight? Yours. Who's after that? Yours. You missed your turn three times in a row. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, would you mind doing it again, please? Not if Matt and Dad don't mind peanut butter again. Thank you. Where is Matt? What's keeping him? Don't you know? Aren't you up on world events? Bartholomew. Right. Ah, the contest is tonight. He's probably practicing. Turn up, turn up the radio. Step on the gas and on we'll go. All right, okay, I give. I'll tell you anything. Son, five months of pitch battle is about to end. It's your move. Or you can surrender. I'll accept graciously. Make a big deal out of it. Just a little parade for myself. You, on the other hand, will be tried for war crimes. Check, Dad. Check, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> Something bothering you, Bart? Nothing two years of sleep can't cure. Well, you've got a good long rest coming after the tour's over. It's not that. I ride around in this car bubble, I live in my room bubble, sing in my stage bubble. And you're 17 years old, and you're a millionaire, and you're the hottest thing in rock and roll, and every kid out there wants to be just like you. <laughs> so what else is that? Listen, 
this fabulous? You can't pay for this kind of publicity. Smile, Bob. Smile. Jake, I gotta get out of here. Simon says the place is crawling with groupies. Why, well, the record store wasn't? Yeah, but we had a riot squad. Hey, look, if you want, I'll call security. We'll get a couple of guys, a follow car. Forget it, it's not worth it. <laughs> what, you want my autograph? Hmm? <laughs> How can you wear clothes like that? What kind of image do you think you're projecting? I don't want to project an image. The clothes are power. Clothes send out a message. Do you think I just picked out this sweater by accident? Do, do you think socks like this just happen? So wait, so you look like a nerd on purpose? Yeah, a nerd to you, sure, but to the babes. <laughs> babes see this look and they know. They know that I'm a man of power, of control. They know that I shave. Yeah, your legs. They know that I can coordinate, that I'm going places. <laughs> I, I have a certain look, and my, my look says something about me. That's true, Daryl. Matt is starting to get a look. It's tacky, but it's a look. I say this as your friend. You're a slob. But clothes are a shell. It's your soul that's most important. And my soul is freshly washed. Your, your soul, his soul. Can anybody see your soul? Can you put a sweater on your soul? What's the matter? I can't get this stupid thing open. There's a good reason for that. It's not your locker. I uh, guess I'm kind of spacey today. Oh, why should today be different from any other? You're kind of nervous about the contest tonight, huh? Yeah. You think you'll really get to meet Bartholomew? Well, if I win. You think you'll win? Depends on what he wears. <laughs> Check your zippers in your butt. What? Beauty approaches. Kathy alert. Kathy alert. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> oh no. Here he comes again. Matt Bundy. Boy, idiot. I think he's cute. I just wish he wasn't so pathetic. Shy. Come on, dude. You gotta believe it's meant to be. Uh, I can't. I can't. I just. I get around her. I can't talk. What? Be mad. Just go up and say hi. The rest will come easy. Hi, Matt. Hi. <clears throat> Bundy, what are you doing here? Are you trying to talk to this girl? Because she's a person, Bundy. She has import and meaning. Enough to tell you to shut up, Greg. Add spunk. But you are nothing. You are an insect. And I don't wish to have your ugly face buzzing around such beauty. So go, be gone, disappear, vaporize. How else can I say? I, I, I think that about covers it. I hate Greg Sturgeon. I hate myself. I hate this whole situation in the Middle East. You have achieved incredible material success, but here you are on the road alone for six months, don't you get lonely? Yeah, sure. Don't you? <laughs> of course you know that I'm talking about the situation with your mother. What situation is that? <laughs> it's common knowledge that you haven't spoken in some time. It's tabloid knowledge we haven't spoken for some time. Regardless, is it true? Regardless, it's none of your business. You are a model for so many young people. Would you like them treating their parents the way that you treated your mother? They don't know how I treat my mother, neither do you. So you're saying that you are not going to comment on this at all? I'm saying this interview is over. Whoa, but forget it, Simon. This kind of publicity you can buy real cheap. We will never, ever talk to her again. 
Listen, forget about it, Bart. One bad interview is not going to kill us, is it? I think she did raise an interesting point, though. After our tour is over, you're going to go and have to live with your mum. No way. All right. Why don't you declare yourself an emancipated minor? What's that? Well, it's just a piece of paper that says you're your own man, free from your mum, free to do whatever we want, Bart. So it's kind of like divorcing my mother. <laughs> well, I'm not saying that uh, anybody's going to think you don't love your mum. I'm not the one who took off at the beginning of the tour. I'm not the one who married some guy with five kids. I'm not the one who moved to San Francisco. Yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know. Think she'll really do it? <laughs> You let me worry about that. You punished Kathy for a window she didn't break to keep the other kids from breaking windows, didn't you, Dad? Yes. Well, I find you for parking in a driveway to show others that they couldn't do it. It's kind of the same thing, isn't it? It is the same thing, but I was wrong. But Simon I was says wrong. we gotta get a move on. Congratulations. Thanks, Dad. What is it tonight? Leave it to Beaver? Father knows best. You just stay out of driveways, Jim. <laughs> but I tell you, I did. Okay. That music means Jim Anderson has solved another crisis. It's okay, bud. I'll just take it out of your allowance for the next three years. How about some cocoa and cookies? Come on, Judge. Yes. It's me again, Simon, and I want to talk to my son. Good heavens, Mrs. Holton. I'm so sorry, but he's not here right now. Look, you've been saying that for six months now, Simon. Yes, I know that, my darling, but you know how crazy it can get. Well, something has but to But if he does get some free time, I promise he'll get back to you. Simon, I... Who's that? Agents. I hate him. Well, howdy hi, gang. Have we got an exciting show for you tonight. A Bartholomew look-alike contest. And the real Bartholomew is here in person to pick the lucky winner. It's almost too much fun for one TV show to handle. Beating is my restless heart. Feeling something's out there soon. In my car will drive. Take a chance to be alone. got our three finalists. I know my hands are shaking. I'm getting nervous. I'm gonna pass out. <laughs> Ow, I hurt my back. I'm suing. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm not gonna sue. The Zingster loves the kid, and that's why the kids love the Zingster. Okie dokie, here we go, key. Congratulations to Matthew Bundy! <laughs> you really oh. 
Oh, spark, 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 spark. Look, I don't use the word genius often, but I'm using it now. You are a genius. I think you're very dumb. You're going to go a long way in this business. It's just so... Oh, really? Yeah, truly. Oh, you are just so... Oh, you're embarrassing me. Now, you sure you don't want us to come pick you up tonight? No, oh, Mom, the limo will drop me off. Spare me. Well, uh, don't be too late, don't I'll take you and the kid to a particularly oh, trendy restaurant with lots of it. Excuse me. I do for fine. TV, really. <laughs> Simon said uh, not to wait. We'll meet him at the hotel. Hope you don't mind. Just wanted some time so we could talk by ourselves. You're really good. I mean it. Yeah? Yeah, you had some really good moves. A couple I wouldn't mind picking up myself. Well, I could teach you some... <laughs> Listen to me. I could teach you... Can I try on your glasses? Sure. Gee, it's really great to be here. I mean, what do you think? <laughs> That's really good. How did you do that? I've been watching you for a while. Give it a try. Okay, dude. Let's go over to Quincy's and lay some tracks. It's real good. Excuse me. Thank you. I just wanted to tell you. I mean, I hope I'm not bothering you, but you're the best. I mean, you are like my all-time favorite. And I'm not just saying that. So, if there's anything I can do for you, anything at all, you just name it. Sure get sick of that. Yeah. Must get pretty annoying after the first seven or eight thousand times. I'd like to just have one shot at a girl who doesn't think I'm hot or romantic or rich. I'd like to meet a girl who doesn't think I'm anything. There's an area where I'm an expert. Yeah. So maybe I ought to be you for a while. And uh, you could mind the store. Why would you want to be me? Do you have a family? Yeah. Do you do chores? Constantly. Is your life ordinary? Utterly. Sounds like a custom-made dream to me. Okay, I'll admit there's a passing resemblance and we fooled one waitress, but nobody's ever gonna really believe it. Yeah? Let's go back to the hotel. Front entrance. enough to believe this. I mean, you look older than me and you're so much more mature. It's all part of the show. The clothes I wear, the hair, the attitude, anybody can do it. Not anybody, but uh, you will be great. Go for it. Wow, this is really cool. Hey, where'd you get all those? Birthday present from Elton. Aha! Bingo. Okay, so you got everything. Your manager is Simon, your bodyguard is Jake, and everybody else is uh, Babe. Right. Your friends are Daryl and Jason, your sister's Emily, this is your class schedule, and this is the map to the school. Breeze time. Don't you have a schedule for the next couple of days? Yeah, it's nothing. Just go with what happens. 
What about your parents? Aren't they going to be around? <laughs> no chance of that. No parents at all? Nope. This is going to be great. <laughs> oh, this is Daisy. You'll grow to love her. <laughs> Daisy, be a good girl. So when are we going to switch back? Tomorrow? Come on, I want to get into this. Suburbia. Mom and pop, chores after school. We're going to need a couple of days at least. Okay, oh. just so we switch back by Saturday. Why? The concert, remember? All oh, right, right, yeah, okay, Saturday. Just what do you think you're doing? It was nothing. I didn't do anything. Just a joke. <laughs> yeah, sure. Take off and give us all a heart attack, huh? Uh. I know you, pal, and Trouble is your middle name. Now, I suppose you're gonna blame it all. The kid was in a hurry. Um, uh, he was anxious to get home. Matthew, it's 1 a.m. Do you know where your brain is? Now, we realize tonight is an important night, but it is also a school night. You promise to be back at a reasonable hour. 1 a.m. is many things. Reasonable is not one of them. Now go to your room and hit the sack. Okay. All right. Matthew. <laughs> What are you doing? Um, what do you think I'm doing? I'm just, uh, checking the skis. Yep. Everything's okay. Good night. Gina is here to see you. Yeah. <laughs> you want to see me, Your Highness? Yes, you silly boy. Who else? Have you been, my darling? Well, I expect you remember it is my birthday. Birthday? And are you going to give me the same thing this year as you did last year? Hmm? Well, that depends. No, no, depends nothing. <laughs> when I want something, I get it. And I want it now. You want me to sing? Oh, it's going to sing. How fabulous. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear, your highness. Happy birthday to you. Couple of eggs, juice, toast, pancakes, maple syrup, that'd be swell. Something wrong with me? That's really a question for medical science. Matthew, it's your move. 
What? Get to Stumpton. I admit it was a brilliant move. Well, maybe not brilliant, but certainly incredible. Yeah. Looks good, Dad. Where are you going? School? It's your move. <laughs> oh, it's my move. Um, can't right now. Uh, don't have enough time. You've got 15 minutes. Great. Got you in kind of a tough spot, huh? Yeah. Take your time. We've been at this five months. What's a few more minutes? <laughs> He's sweating. Yeah, looks scripted. I got him on the run. You always do, darling. <gasps> I'm sorry, Dad. You taking your bike? Huh? Your bike. Aren't you taking your bike? Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. Oh, great. A bike. Yeah. yeah. You get, get it together. together. Oh, hope I remember how. Where are we going again, Jay? The auditions. I have to audition? Hardly. It's the dancers for the video you're shooting in Tokyo, remember? Oh, right. Glasses? Uh, it's just got him. I remember you going to the eye doctor. I didn't. These are mail order. Mail order glasses? Uh huh. It takes test mail it in. It's the latest thing. Hmm. Well, let's get this over with. ones you want? All of them. Would you look at that locker? What? What? Is this where you grow your clothes? Mm -hmm. and look, we've been friends for a long time, haven't we? Yeah, sure seems like it. I say this out of a personal concern. I think there's a human being inside of you struggling to get out. He's sharp. He's got a look. He's someone the babes would go for. He's kind of like me. A babe trap. Your biggest problem is your hair. You think it needs to be cut? I think it needs to be defoliated. Woodstock, 20 years ago. You want me to conform? No! I, I just want you to look more like everybody else. Hey. What's up? Hey, how you doing? I'm saying this out of a real personal concern. I don't want you to be one of those guys who looks back on their high school careers and says, I could have been hot. I could have been happening. If only I'd have listened to my friend, Jason. 
I had a really good time, too. I'll see you tonight, right? That was a setup, right? You paid him. There's Matt. Hey, superstar. Congratulations. It was on the tube this morning. Daryl, Jason. Good morning. So what was he like? Bartholomew. I mean, you met him, right? Yeah. He's short, isn't he? Where's lips? No, he's, uh, normal. Normal to tall. Yeah, but he does wear makeup. No, he doesn't. What was he like? I mean, is he a good guy, or...? Oh, he's a good guy. He's a normal guy, just like us. He's incredibly gifted. Rich, but he's a nice guy. What did you talk about? He talked about himself. He's real arrogant. Excuse me, but well, we're getting a first-hand report here. Excuse me, but I read the magazines. I know about this stuff. All right. Where'd you go? Where'd you go for dinner? They went to some place cheap. And I'll bet he didn't pick up the check. He never does. See ya, Matt. Oh. Oh, no. You what? I can't remember any of my classes, and I lost my schedule. How could you forget your whole schedule? It's the middle of the term. Oh, yeah. Well, my mind is shot since the accident. Do you think you could look it up for me? I'm kind of in a hurry. What kind of accident was it? Pardon? What kind of accident were you in? Bad. Really bad. Head injury? Head, neck, shoulders, the whole bit. How did it happen? I got caught in a trash compactor. Oh, my. Yeah, it was ugly. I stuck my head in to look for a lost quarter. and Next thing I knew... <sighs> Luckily, my little dog Sparky knew what was going on and pulled the plug. It's unbelievable. I can't even look at trash compactors anymore. Oh, you poor thing. When did it happen? What? The accident. What accident? Hi, Matt. Hi. Kathy? I saw you on TV. Yeah? Yeah. Must have been really exciting. Weren't you nervous? Yeah, I was. But uh, not because of the TV cameras or Bartholomew. No? No. I thought to myself, if I'm going to do this, I'm going to do this for Kathy. You're in my seat, Bundy. Greg. And you're sitting with a girl I like. And I don't want us to like the same girls, because that would mean we had something in common. And we have nothing in common. That's true. My family doesn't live in a pond. Talking <laughs> back. That's a penalty point, Bundy. Listen, buddy, I was here first, so hands off. Get lost. Goodbye. The guy's got a very regular personality. Should eat more bran. <laughs> Say goodnight, Bundy. Matt, look out! Ah! 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 Now, where were we? Yeah. Matt! Ah! 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 Hey, stop it! Oh. Ah! That hurt. You hit me. No, not yet. That comes next. You just bought yourself a big-time lawsuit, Bonzo. My lawyers get through with you. you. Tell it to the principal. Let's go. Hey, how are you? Yeah, it's me. Can you believe it? <laughs> Don't you know it's not the life to stare? Just kidding. You people, I love you. And if it wasn't for you, I wouldn't be here. You want a pick? Go ahead. Sorry, love, just one to a cup. Son, excuse me, could you see that I got some fresh towels? Fabulous. Barber up in my room, pronto? Marvelous. Isn't a great big me? You're in big trouble with that. Why? It's 5.30. Where have you been? I had detention. For what? Fighting. You? What was her name? Funny. Should have called. I forgot the number. Lame. Unless you can prove insanity. Which in your case is quite possible. <laughs> Uh, 
Matt, please clean your room. I don't want to ask you again. Love, Mom. That's it. Talk to me. It's me. You better be able to get away because I don't think I can take much more of this. Your family is nothing like I expected. I tried to talk to a girl today. I got beat up. I got detention. You know, and I can't stand your sister. The room is a mess. It's time for me to be Bart again. You hear me? Bartholomew is not in right now, but Matt? I'll have him call you as soon as he gets in. Matt! Take this away, no more calls. Room service, sir. Didn't I say no green ones? I'll kill him. I'll get in a cab. I'll go over there and I'll kill him. No, I can't. I have to stay here till Saturday. Wait, I don't have to stay anywhere. Especially here, I'm blowing Bundy life. Where are you going? What do you want? There's a phone call for you on Dad's line. Yeah, well, you can tell him that I'll get it. It's a girl. A... Maybe the one you beat up. A girl. Kathy. Since when do you see so good without your specs? Hi, Kathy. Uh, nice of you to call. Well, I just wanted to make sure you weren't hurt. Greg is such a jerk. No. I mean, yeah, yes, uh, he is a jerk. Uh, no, I'm not hurt. Listen, it's funny you should call because I was thinking maybe you and I could... Kathy! Dinner! I'm coming! I'm at. Uh, I guess I'll see you in school tomorrow? Yeah. All right. School tomorrow. Okay, and uh, bring your bike. My bike? Yeah. Bye. Don't you have a hobby? My hobby is the stock market. But looking after you is a full-time job. It's your night to do the dishes. Dishes? Yeah. They don't get clean by themselves. Beautiful sunny days here in the Southland to contrast with those tornado warnings throughout the Midwest. So get outside tomorrow and enjoy it while it's here. Well, that's what we're saw Bud wash the dishes on Father Knows Best. News is our friend Hillary. So. Rock star Bartholomew's feud with his mother apparently continues. Our inside sources have learned that he has instructed his attorneys to draw up a petition declaring him an emancipated minor. Legally, he would be considered an adult and would no longer have to live with his mother. This comes as no big surprise to those close to the rock star. Hello, Pumpkin. How are you tonight? Tell me something. You're a mother. Thank you, dear. I try. Why would a mom, if she were a good mom, decide one day that being a mom wasn't that important? Does this have something to do with my job? Uh, no, I'm just talking hypothetically. Hypothetically. All right. It isn't that there is anything more important than being a mom. It's just that for some women, it can't be everything. Why? Because we're not robots. Look, suppose if someone told you that you had to stay in the 12th grade for the rest of your life. You'd be 25, 30, 35 years old. You'd still be going to the same school and the same classes. Would you like that? Not after today. Does that answer your question? Yeah, I guess so.
Now, can you answer me a question? Sure. Is the dishwasher broken? No. I'm just pre-washing them. Give them that special shine. Matthew, go to bed early tonight, okay? Okay, Mom. Okay, let me bounce this off you. See what you think? We charter a DC-10, get a hundred of my closest friends, fly to Fiji, and party till we drop. Well, you're in a good mood today, Bart. Of course, why shouldn't I be? I'm young, I'm rich, I'm me. I haven't seen him this up before a show in months. <laughs> I guess you could say I'm sort of a new show. Yes. We've got to be downtown in what, about half an what hour? What kind of show? What kind of show? <laughs> not uh, this. No, he said he's not supposed to do a show till Saturday. He? He who? Me. He. I mean, I'm not... I'm not supposed to, I, I can't, I can't. Of course you can, you always do, Bob. Now come on, we've got about 10 minutes, we're out of here. Go get changed, okay? Yeah. The Crimean War is best remembered for the disastrous charge of the Light Brigade, led by Sir James Thomas Brundle, the seventh Earl of Cardigan. Mr. Bundy. Mr. Bundy? Yo. Can you explain the Crimean War? Who can explain war? It's such a terrible thing. <laughs> What's wrong? I think I have laryngitis. You were fine ten minutes ago, Bart. I think it's a kind of laryngitis you can get in ten minutes. Will you please come on? What's the point? I can't sing. Well, who said anything about singing? No singing? Oh. This is going to make the most wonderful video. Bartholomew, I want you to meet Jim Coop, our director. This is Bartholomew. Oh, Hi. Uh, Simon, what you said back there about my not singing. Sing? You want to sing? You don't want to lip sync? Uh, people, listen up. Uh, we're cutting the lip sync. The singing will be live. There will be singing. Nope. Clipping it will be fine. People, there will be no singing. I repeat, no singing. Prepare the sync. You're beautiful. Jake, give him 20 bucks.
this weekend. I got tickets to the Bartholomew concert on Saturday. Great seat, second row. Yeah, I hear it's going to be an amazing concert. Yeah. You going to go? Isn't everybody? Well, this is me. What about tonight? What about it? Let's go out. Well, it's school night. So? So I can't. Yes, you can. No, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> you don't waste much time, do you? Time is something I don't have a lot of. Mm. I mean, none of us do. I could get leprosy, you could get hit by a bus. That's a romantic thought. I'm just saying, seize the moment. Well, not tonight. Okay, tomorrow night. You think the moment will wait? Yes, it'll have to, won't it? Okay. Yeah? Yeah. I'll see you tomorrow. See ya. She's going out with me. She's going out with me. Oh, oh. Ah! I don't know. I just get up and do it. I guess it's a gift. Bart, I'm going out front to get the limo. Don't go outside, huh? Just stay here. Tons of girls outside. talking about? Uh, Emily? Emily? Of course, Emily. My sister Emily. What's Mom's maiden name? What? Where did we have our family picnic last year? Uh... What town does Uncle Bob live in? New York? Anchorage. Nice try. You can make me ask to see your birthmark? Okay, all right. You got me. What are you going to do, tell your parents? Are you nuts? I'm sitting on a gold mine here. You want my autograph? What do you think? I like your music? Like teeny bopper stuff. No way, that's just for kids. I'm talking a strict business relationship. A couple hundred pictures. All autographed. I'll make a killing. I can't believe a sweet little girl like you is into blackmail. It's a cold world, superstar. Say cheese. Bart, I have to measure your arm. Bart, 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 Bart. On a dance number. I'm adding another turn. Three turns, okay? You're ready. Okay, Bart. I need volume. Everything. Over here. All right, Bart. Take him up. Excuse me. You're ready. This is my cousin Louise. Hi, Louise. You know the one I told you about? That's good. Bart, she sings for the Met. Yes, keep your Good. head up. Here are the emancipated minor petitions. They have to be signed by Bart and his mother for the court to consider them. Yes, well, that won't be a problem. When she sees that he signed them, she won't put up much of a fight. Wouldn't it be best if he and his mother sat down together and... He's just a boy. He has no idea what's best for him, all right? Thank you so much. Right, fine. No problem. Hi, buddy. <laughs> Simon said you got the new songs. What'd you think? Well, Simon said you love them. Did you love them? Because I love them, and I'm not just saying that because I wrote them. I mean, I think they were really terrific. No. You, get, you got problems. <laughs> not problems. You got questions. You got questions? Great. I'm here. Here I am. You got questions? Just ask. Would you please get me down? Could somebody get this man down, please? 
I can't believe this. You really don't like my music. Please. Are you, have you ever listened to it? No, but I've been subjected to it. Hey, what don't you like about it? Do you honestly think your music has any cultural significance? Well... Do you think your music means anything? Yeah. I've written a couple songs that deal with relationships, feelings between people. Really? Like what? Shut up and kiss me. <laughs> um, you played hardball with my heart? It was big in Japan. Look, it's rock and roll. It's fun. Do you know what fun is? Sure. Watching these pictures turn into dollar bills. Think you could try smiling? Matt? Hi, Mom. What's going on here? Uh, just beefing up the family album. Smile. Sure there's nobody down here? Positive. I can't believe how tired I am. Well, you better try and stay awake. You got four hours with the tutor tonight. Are you kidding? No. You missed a couple of days. You got to make them up. You know how it works. Tutors? Come on. I've been at it all day. Now I got to deal with algebra? What can I say? Tough way to make the rent, superstar. Hi, honey. Oh. Hey, lady, don't you think you're a little too old to be a groupie? I don't care how rich you are or how rough a day you think you've had. That is no way to treat your mom. mom. And I know I'm just an employee. And I may be way out of line, but either you get out there and apologize or I will kick your butt around the block. Mom? Mom! Uh, sorry I didn't recognize you. I don't know what's wrong with me. I guess the light was bad. Uh, also, I just got these new glasses. I can't see too good without them. Really sorry. You got glasses? So, how have you been? You tired? No, no. You never did like to go to bed. Even when you're a little boy, you remember that. <laughs> Bart, this whole thing has just gotten way out of hand. It's absolutely, completely out of hand. You agree? I agree. You do? Pretty much. Well, that's why I'm here. That's why you're here? That's why I'm here. That's, that's why we're here together. It's just good, good to be here together. Oh, I understand if you were angry when I married Jerry and had to leave the tour. But not to speak for six months. Six months? It's a really long time. I know you've been really busy and there's a lot of pressure on you. I love you very much. And when this tour's over, I want you to come and live with us. Come live with you? You seem very nice. You are very nice. You're my mom. I... And if it were up to me, I would. Who else is it up to? <laughs> it really is up to me. Are you all right? You seem a little bit out of it. To be perfectly honest, I'm really not quite myself tonight. You are tired. Come on. We'll talk about this later. The concert Saturday, come backstage, I guarantee I'll be myself, I think. You better be, or 6,000 screaming girls are going to be very disappointed. You have no idea. Now tell me, do I get a piece in, in, in yes. section 5? I do? Absolutely. So where have you been, Bart? Huh? Well, come on over. I have these petitions you wanted. Perhaps you'd like to look them over first. Oh, right. I don't actually think that's going to be necessary. Me neither. Bart. What do you want me to do? What you usually do with agreements, Bart, you sign them. Agreements, yeah, right, yeah. right, sign them, got right it. Here. here we go. 
What exactly are these agreements? But these are the emancipated minor petitions. Emancipated minor petitions? Yes. Bartholomew, we've been through this. These are the papers so you can divorce your mother. Divorce my mother? What's he talking about? I just work here. Divorce her? You people are nuts! Everything I read about you in the grocery store is true. All right. What's going on? No more business talk. I'm an artist. I gotta get out of here. Got a date, huh? Yeah. Nervous? Nah. I went out with lots. Yeah, I sure am, Dad. Yeah, I thought so. See, first dates can be terrible because you put so much pressure on yourself. I was like that. Always messing up because I wanted it to be perfect the first time. Then I learned it doesn't have to be perfect the first time. If, there, if there's something there, well, there'll be a second time. Third, and so on. So don't worry about first impressions. Just, just be yourself. That's the key. What happens if I don't have enough time to be myself? What if I want to make a great impression now? Money. Blow a ton. Thanks, Dad. Anytime, son. Five dollars. Fifteen. Hey, what's the best restaurant around here? Best or most expensive? Both. Mr. Shoes. Great. Hello? Matt Bundy, please. You mean Bartholomew, don't you? Matt, I know everything, so save your pathetic lies. He's not here anyway. Where is he? Well, he just got on the back of Kathy's scooter and wrapped his arms around her waist. What? Barnaby's going out with Kathy? Yep. There they go. Off to Mr. Shoes. He's taking Kathy? He's taking Kathy? He can't. She's, she's my... Well put. I mean... Hey, that's a beautiful watch. Oh, thanks. My grandmother gave it to me. I wish the rest of me was as presentable. How come you didn't tell me we were coming here? It hit me as I was going out the door. You know, the whole idea that you have to get dressed up for a place like this is just completely out. I guess these people haven't heard. <laughs> you haven't told me much about your family. My family? Are you close? I don't know. You don't know? Yeah, I, I guess you could say we live in the same house, so we're close. How's that sweet and sour octopus I ordered for you? Oh, oh, I'm sure it's fine for octopus. I just can't put anything in my mouth that oozes. You don't like it? It's out of here. No, no, no it's fine. No, 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 it's not fine. Take this away, will you? Is there something wrong with it? Yeah, it moved. Could you bring her some, um, some what do you want, with chicken? Chicken. Chicken. Make sure the chicken's dead, okay? What? Did you have to be so rude? You see, that's not rude. You have to know how to handle these guys. You can't let them walk all over you. Look, I just want everything to be perfect. I want this to be a night that neither of us will ever, ever forget. You're off to a good start. No. Come on. Come on. Uh, uh. <laughs> what was that? I don't know. Excuse me a second. <clears throat> Hi. Um, very good. It's a very good dinner. Hi. Right, could you look at this for a second? I have a bit of a problem here. I seem to pick up the wrong wallet. 
uh, my my dad. This is one hundred and twenty-four dollars, sir. I know it's one hundred twenty-four dollars. I was just wondering if you could cut me a break because I'm so tired. Cut you a break. I, I, I usually come here and I get free food. You want to put the restaurant in your visa? Yeah, I could. I could actually, but I just don't have it with me. My brother has. Your brother. So uh, yeah. So what are you guys going to do? I, I believe that you're going to have to pay the bill for one hundred twenty-four dollars, or we're going to have to call the police. Can you call the police? We're going to call the police right now. You want to call the police? You guys want to call the police? Okay, call the police. That's great. Uh, why, why don't we call the fire department at the same time? You guys have brothers and sisters? We could all bring them in here and have a big, big party. Thank you, sir. Hey, come on. I said I was sorry. You're not mad about the watch, are you? I mean, I had to give it to this guy. We had a great dinner. Now we're going to go dancing. Chill out. Two dollars, please. Pay you back. It's just a watch. I'll get it back. Matt, I don't care about the watch. Well, then what are you so mad about? You. Me? What did I do? You changed. Maybe you're always a jerk. I don't know. Jerk? You know, I used to think you were so nice and different. I mean, what is going on with you? Nothing. Exactly. Well, I hope you have a dime to call your dad. Why? Because it's a long walk home. Matt. Get over here right now. Things have gotten completely out of hand. You blame me? Who hung up on who, Mr. Talk to me? Look, I'm sorry about the other day. It's just that, I mean, there were all these dancers and all the money, and I told them to take out the green jelly beans. They did it. I can't believe it. This place is too weird. You know, where I come from, we talk to our mothers. What do you mean? Your mom. You haven't spoken with her for six months. You ought to try it. She seems like a nice lady. My mom. You talk to her? Yeah, sure. She called. No, I saw her. She wants me to come live with her. She wants you to come live with her? No, idiot. She wants you to come live with her. Well, Simon's been telling me she won't even talk to me. Like, I don't know what goes on in your weird life. They've been hanging me by wires. They want me to sign papers to divorce my mother. Your mother? Well, don't sign anything. Don't do anything till I get there. <laughs> oh, I wish I could have said the same thing to you last night when you went out with my girlfriend. Girlfriend, you never even talked to her. Okay, my potential girlfriend. Not anymore. What do you mean? What did you do? Nothing a lot of money can't fix. Nothing a lot of... You... Get over here. <coughs> and tell your dog to leave me alone. Daisy, you'll be a good girl. <coughs> I'm at. Yep, up. We'd like to talk to you. Oh, I can't right now. I've got to get going. <laughs> a cab. Yeah, I need one. Yeah, well, that about does it. Get in there. Put the hell. You're grounded. Grounded? You're surprised? Getting in at two last night? One a few nights before? Getting into fights? Calling cab. But you can't do that. Seriously, it just... Okay, I'm gonna level with you. I'm not your son. I'm really Bartholomew the rock star. Your son and I switched places about a week ago, so you have no right to ground me because I'm not your son. And when Matt gets back and we switch places again, you have no right to ground him either because... He didn't do any of the stuff that I just did. See what I mean? 
Well, that explains it. That's it. He's not our son. Never was. You don't believe me. <sighs> okay, ask me where Uncle Bob lives. Go ahead. Ask me where Uncle Bob lives. Where does Uncle Bob live? I don't know. <laughs> See? <laughs> I have no idea. I, I don't know where the family picnic was. Right. I don't know your maiden name. I don't know any of that okay, stuff. Okay, Matt, that's enough. No, Bart, I am Bart. Dear, you gave it a very good try. It was very interesting. I'm telling you the truth. I'm not your son. Ask Emily. Emily has nothing to do with this. Look, I am not your son. And I'm not a child. So what's keeping me from walking out that door? Absolutely nothing. Go ahead. If that's the kind of respect you have for us, your family. Then you go ahead, kid. Walk right on out. It's your choice. Simon says they're going to move on. We've got to get down to the theater for a sound check. You tell Simon I said no way. Simon also said if you give me any kick, to stuff you in a bag and drag you. Give me a break. i got to get in as many as I can. You're not going to be here much longer. Yeah, but how can I leave? I know. You're real moved by what Dad said. So was I. But there's only one flaw. You're not his son. His son is on the way to the theater, gearing up to make an atomic embarrassment of himself. So I guess we better do something about it. You want to give me some voice part? Testing one, two, three. OK, do you think maybe you could sing a few bars? No. I've got to save my voice. I'll be down in the dressing room. What are you doing? Don't you ever watch TV? So you'll cover for Matt? Yeah, sure. You know you're not as bad as you seem. You're all right. Don't bet on it. Matt will be doing my chores well into the 21st century. See you, Superstar. What do you want? I had to sneak out of the house to come and talk to you. I got grounded last night because I got home so late. So? So, can we talk? Can we just talk for a second, please? For a second. Look, I really want to say I'm sorry about last night. A lot of things you said about me were true. I am self-centered and all the other stuff. But I need to know if you could possibly ever forgive me. I mean, emergency circumstances. The world was ending. Well, maybe if the world was ending. Good. That really means a lot to me. Are you still going to the Bartholomew concert tonight? I need a ride. I wouldn't ask, but it's really important. Really important? Really important. You're my last hope. Your very last hope? Then how could I possibly say yes? Kathy. Kathy, you said you weren't going to talk to me for a couple of seconds, and you... Oh, excuse me. The bus. How do I, how do I call it? What? How do I get it to come here? <laughs> hey.
Where are you going? I'm looking for the bathroom. It's in your dressing room. Oh, let's uh, get on down there. Hey, here it comes. Good thing you called. We'd have been here all night. <laughs> Sick. I think I'm gonna be sick. <sighs> Where does it hurt? Uh, everywhere. All over. Sort of sick and shaking. Yeah. <gasps> yeah. Exactly. Sweating and cold all at the same time. Yeah. That's it. Uh, yes. I'd say this is just like London. Oh, it must be a relapse. Looks like we've got London again, Jake. Yeah. Uh, same treatment as before? Right, just before uh, showtime. Pick him up and drag him on stage. <laughs> Darling, I'm so impressed with you. Look, I just think it's... Hey, excuse me. Bartholomew's mother's here. I know you gave orders to detain her till you could speak with her. Yes, but... thank you. I'll speak to her in a few minutes. She's pretty mad. Well, I'm sure she is. I'll be there as soon as I can. Thank you. Darling. Why didn't I think of this before? What? I'm rich. I'll bribe you. How much do you want? A couple hundred? Three hundred dollars? I got credit cards, green, gold, platinum. Just turn your back for 30 seconds. What are you so nervous about? If I told you, believe me, you'd let me go. In fact, you'd probably kick me out. Take the money. Take the whole wallet. <laughs> the first time anyone's ever tried to bribe me. I always wondered what I'd do. Well, now I know. Integrity, Bart. You can't buy it. <laughs> Your bus. Your bus. Come on, bus. <laughs> Are we going to do this the easy way or the hard way? I don't want to do this at all. <laughs> the hard way. Hey, kid, you wanted the theater? Yeah, where is it? Where's what? The theater. It's about two miles out where you're going to have to transfer. The transfer. Here you go. Don't transfer, just call! <laughs> Mrs. Holton, it's so nice to see you again. You look absolutely wonderful. Shall we talk over here? <clears throat> now, like any other business, Bartholomew has to be run efficiently. His time has to be managed. His energy has to be focused. That's what I do. <laughs> and that's why he is where he is today. I appreciate your business sense, Simon, but... Well, if I may finish, Mrs. Holton. Now, you did make the choice to marry this chap and leave Bart on the road. I'm not saying that you're a bad mother. But I think you do recognize that he doesn't need a mother anymore. That is ridiculous, Simon. Of course he needs a mother. He's just a boy. No, he's not just a boy. He's a very, very busy boy, and all he has time for now is work. I'm not Bartholomew! Listen to me! It's all right! It's all right! You'll calm down as soon as you get out there. I won't come you down. always do. You will. You will. You will. It's that stage match. I can't. I can't. Break away. I can't. I can't. No!
can't keep me away from him any longer. Nobody can. I don't think this is going to do either of us any good. And I definitely know it's not going to do Bartholomew any good. Simon, look, something crazy's happened. Oh. Bart's run off the stage and Jake's chasing him all around the wing. All right, get security, get everybody, round him up. I'll talk to him later. You got it. <laughs> Have you seen him? Bart! Come on, Bart! Has anyone seen him? Bart! Oh, Bart! Check downstairs. All the dressing rooms. The orchestra pit. Bartholomew has been going through a lot right now, and I don't think we need to add to his confusion by having him make a decision to please you. Bart doesn't have to do anything to please me. Then why don't you let him go? Let him do what he wants, to be on his own. He has told me over and over again that he doesn't want to see you. And he certainly doesn't want to live with you. You're lying! Oh, I swear. Careful, Simon. You never know who's listening. What are you wearing? And why are you dressed like this? Hi, Mom. Hi. Yes, well, we have a show to do, and uh, we'll talk about this later, shall we? There's nothing to talk about. Excuse me, Bart, but I think that there is. To be perfectly honest, Simon, I don't care what you think. Bart. Goodbye, Simon. Sorry about all that. It's good to see you. Love you, Ma. <laughs> hey, bud. Where you been? Cutting this a little closer, aren't you? Lighten up. Lighten up. They put me on stage to sing. What'd you do? I ran away. Nice. Guess I better get up there. Oh, yeah, I guess you better. What took you so long? I had some stuff to take care of with my mom. Is she okay? Yeah, she's all right. Is Kathy here with you? She's here, but not with me. Speaking of which, you're gonna need some big bucks to get her watch back. Her watch? Yeah, she's still a little mad about last night, but I think she'll come around. She's down front, second row. Why don't you go see her? Oh, you said she's mad. I don't think I could. I mean, maybe later. Hey, listen, she likes you. Believe me, it has nothing to do with the way you look. I mean, you're ugly. Hold it! Hey, Jake, we gotta get going, man. We got a show to do. 
Let's see a big guy. Really sorry about last night. I guess a lot of stuff that's happened kind of went to my head, and that's all I want to say. Thank you, Matt. <gasps> Come here. It's okay. Ladies and gentlemen, once again. I'd like to dedicate this first song. See, there's this misunderstanding, and uh, Kathy, if you're out there, Matt's real sorry, and he wants this song to be just for you. Is that why you wanted to take me to the concert? Of course. Oh, man. <laughs> 